Coming up, what you can do to keep the conversation going about racial injustice following the guilty verdict in the Derek Chauvin trial. Plus, construction at the Japanese gardens in Sioux Falls will soon be wrapping up. What crews have been working on? Good morning, this is Kelly Land on the go with all you need to know in news and weather as you start your day. Police officers trying to identify a man who robbed a Sioux Falls gas station ended up finding the suspect a lot easier than expected. Tuesday afternoon, police say a man walked into the Freedom Station on 24th and Minnesota, pointed a gun at the clerk, took some cash and left. Detectives reviewing surveillance video Wednesday morning recognized that the gun was a BB gun. The officer called around and found that a BB gun had recently been sold at Shields. So the detectives went there to get surveillance video of the purchase. While they were there waiting for that surveillance video, this guy showed up, wore the same clothes as the robber did, matched the description, and was there to purchase a BB gun. The detectives arrested 28-year-old William Cooper for first-degree robbery, aggravated assault, and petty theft. He was also on parole for weapons charges. One man is dead after a crash west of Wall Tuesday night. Shortly after 8, a car was heading east on I-90 when it left the road and rolled. The 31-year-old driver was pronounced dead at the scene. South Dakota's Highway Patrol is investigating the crash. A Sioux Falls advocate says the guilty verdict in the Derek Chauvin trial is a start, but he says there's still a lot more to do in the fight against racial injustice. Julian Boudouin says as people continue to pay attention to what's happening nationally, they should also play active roles at home. We have to talk to our legislators, uh, we have to talk to our state representatives, and we have to talk to our uh, city councilors and our mayors and our, police our local police departments to ensure that we are making changes not just nationally but on the local level as well. Another community advocate we talked to said education is important and encourages people to attend seminars and workshops. Turning to weather now, our cool temps could be on their way out of Kelloland. Let's find out when with meteorologist Scott Munt. All right, well, good morning, everybody. We are looking at a uh, warm-up uh, for today with temperatures returning to the 50s and 60s as we do have a chance for a couple of scattered showers as well, especially in the central, maybe south-central South Dakota, looking at a couple of scattered showers in our forecast. During the afternoon, early evening, we'll watch these move to the east as we do go into the evening hours, though things should stay fairly light. Uh, many locations coming in. Well, less than two tenths of an inch of rainfall, but uh, looks like as we start the weekend, it will cool. As we finish the weekend, it will warm. And then we're looking at uh, more rain chances next week. I'll have more details on the Kettle Land Live Doppler forecast. Like Brian will have more details coming up. Thanks, Scott. Law enforcement agencies in Rapid City showed their colors for several different causes on Wednesday. The purple stands for National Crime Victims Rights Week. Those wearing teal are bringing awareness to sexual assault, and dark blue is for Child Abuse and Neglect Awareness Month. There's just a lot of folks who understand that, that victims need all the support that we can give them, and that's, that's what our role is. The Pennington County and Rapid City law enforcement teams say the first step to getting help if you find yourself in an abusive situation is reaching out. We've included links for that at Kelloland.com. If you're traveling in Lincoln County this morning, we have a road closure to tell you about. In a post on its Facebook page, the Lincoln County Sheriff's Office says 282nd Street is closed from I-29 uh, uh, to 470th Street. That started at 630 this morning. Crews will be replacing a culvert within that stretch of road. The Sheriff's Office expects the road to be open by 4 p.m. They ask drivers to take a different route. Over the next few weeks, crews will be planting more than 153,000 ponderosa pine seedlings in the Black Hills National Forest. The trees will be planted in the area of Jasper Fire that burned more than 83,000 acres in 2000. Park officials say after the fire, there were thousands of acres that no longer had a seed source of mature trees and were not capable of regrowth. Foresters have actually been working on the reforestation efforts for several years. We are getting a bird's eye view of the progress being made on the Amazon Fulfillment Center in Foundation Park. Take a look at this. Amazon announced its plans to build the 640,000 square foot facility late last summer. Once open, the Fulfillment Center will bring 1,000 new full-time jobs to the city. It's expected to be up and running sometime next year. The Japanese gardens sit along the shore of Koval Lake in Terrace Park in Sioux Falls. Over the years, the pergolas have started showing their age. 
Now work is underway to repair them. In February, crews were tasked with repairing the columns while still using the original stones. That work is almost complete. Right now we're just doing the welded connections and miscellaneous items to get the last stones put on because as you can see by looking at it, not all the stone was put on in the shop before we brought them out here. So now we're putting the last finishing touches on it. Kelly expects work to be finished up by next week. And let's look at some of our top stories. Now let's get one last look at your weather with meteorologist Brian Karstens. Brian? All right, weather today, well, starting sunny, but clouds are increasing across the south. We are expecting those clouds to eventually yield some rain chances moving up into south central South Dakota. And by late afternoon, we're talking Pier, we're talking you know, Huron, maybe Mitchell, areas of showers. Uh, even Sioux Falls getting into the early evening. There'll be some shower activity moving through. Some of these amounts may end up being at least 10 to 20 hundred. So it's certainly enough to uh, create some wet conditions here, but not overly wet. The forecast tomorrow looks like that feature will be fairly quick to move through Friday morning. And uh, Friday afternoon, we're already looking at the next frontal feature and that's quickly moving in western South Dakota. You'll notice Rapid City tomorrow quite a bit cooler. Highs in the middle 40s with a north wind and that front will make a full effect in Sioux Falls on Saturday's weather as it will be cooler once again in the upcoming forecast. I know we've been through this uh, many times the last several days but I'm here to tell you that things are beginning to change. Look at this. This is our weather map for Sunday night into Monday and finally getting a big surge of warmer weather across the central and southern plains. I think parts of Kettle Land will feel that effect, especially on Monday. Now we do have to slip backwards a little bit next week, but we may end up coming back a little stronger once we wrap up the month of April. We'll see where May goes. A lot of question marks still to hammer out there, but if we can even start the month a little warmer, that's kind of a nice thought there. Finally getting those ground temperatures to come back up where they should be for this time of the year. 50 degree weather, pretty common today though across Kettle Land as those clouds increase. South central areas will have the first areas of rain and then that'll spread into Sioux Falls tonight into early tomorrow. 59 in Sioux Falls tomorrow, 53 Saturday, then close to 60 late Sunday. That shower chances in the morning, that may end up being some snow Sunday morning in Aberdeen and Watertown and Huron. Keep an eye on that, but I think it'll melt fast because our numbers are warming. Along with that, some most importantly here, the chance of rain coming up for northern Kettle Land. And I know many of you need that. Pier also needing some moisture. We're into the 70s by Monday. We'll see how many of those areas of rain hang around Tuesday, Wednesday. But that would be the really the thing to watch. And also that's true for Rapid City with better chances of moisture early next week. Find out more coverage online at kettleland.com.